welcome to pravara medical trust campus pravara medical trust ayurved college and shri eknath ayurved rugnalaya esteemed institution of ayurved blessing educational institutions it did get fulfilled just by initiating schools alone but also turning his attention towards education to all so our mother institute pravara institute of medical and sciences was founded by padmashri dr vithal rao vikhe patil in 1972 and then from the policy think globally act locally of padma bhushan dr bala saheb vikhe patil hence came into existence PMT's Ayurved College and Shri Eknath Ayurved Rugnalaya Shivgaon in 1999. Currently, the whole campus is under supremacy of our young and dynamic Chief Executive Director, Dr. Yuvraj Narvare Patil Sir. The lush green campus of the institute is spread over an area of 27 acres in Shivgaon. The spacious environment has earned the distinction of being one of the best Ayurved college in Maharashtra. The institute aims to input quality learning to nurture the young talent to become competent professionals and physicians. The initial strength of 40 undergraduate student in 1999 has now gone up to 100 undergraduate students and 50 postgraduate students in 10 different department. and bears testimony to the phenomenal growth of the college the college has well established rashya shastra and bhishajya kalpana department of 350 square meters with well developed teaching faculty and pharmacy with museum and digital library the department has six intake capacity of post graduate students our teaching faculty conducted various practicals and demo lectures for student for the formulation of various rasakalpas as rasa sindur suvarna vanga hingulotth parat as you can see on your screen some of our specialties are keshada hair oil which is the beauty of our pharmacy it is proprietary medicine having wonderful result in hair fall and graying of hair yuva kalpa in the form of granules which has immunomodulator and health preventive properties so it can be used in current covid crisis for prophylaxis purpose and it has shown very excellent results some other formulations such as sahachar tel is also used for nasya karma in various conditions and the bactericidal dhupam made with various grumigna dravyas is also useful in current situation of covid crisis medicines of our pharmacy dispensed to our hospital to serve patients and it's been found very effective as well in the extension activity of the department the department had organized a national level seminar based on clinical aspects of rasa oshadi in 13th october 2017 in order to enhance the theoretical as well as practical knowledge of the students different formulations were taken by the department of rasa shastra and bhaisajya kalpana so that the student can prepare their own medicine for their own patients in future thank you thank you it's a short documentary of our pravara medical ayurved college avastraksham ganadisham swagurum cha saraswatim janakam janaitrim cha shastrado pranamami aham hello everyone a very good afternoon to one and all i dr renuka suryavanshi associate professor from the department of rasa shastra and bhishajya kalpana have great pleasure to extend you a very warm welcome on behalf of pravara medical trust ayurved college and sri eknath ayurved rugnale shivga who has club all of us for rasamrut 2020 a one day national webinar on role of rasa oshadi in autoimmune disorders i am highly obliged to welcome today's eminent speaker dr gopi krishna sir professor and hod sjg ayurved medical college and post graduate research center koppal welcome you sir i also extend a cordial welcome 
to our executive director honorable dr yuvraj narode sir and principal dr b t shinde sir for their continuous support and encouraging us to conduct this webinar i extend a massive welcome to all the participant who were joined this webinar coming together is beginning keeping together is progress but working together is success now we will have our traditional auspicious lamp lighting ceremony as a tribute to lord dhanvantari i request dr yuvraj narode sir executive director dr b t shinde sir principal dr b c v k sir vice principal and dr b r kurkute sir professor and hod to lead the lamp light symbolizes brightness and prosperity it removes the forces of darkness and gives us positivity in spiritual word light means life so we can think of light as giving us new direction in life follow thank you sir let us now pray to i request dr muli kakshay to invoke lord dhanvantari dr kakshay muli nama ंदीत पाद पद्म मृत्युनाशन दातामीशम विधीना चक्रम जलो मृत घटम चारुदो चुर्मी सूक्ष्म स्वच्छातिरुद्रापरी ज्वलांगम कटितट विलसन चाबरा वंदे धन्वंतरी निखिला प्रौढ़ाग्नीलम Thank you Dr Akshay may the divine power blesses us all now i request to honorable dr yuvraj narode sir executive director praura medical trust of camp to deliver welcome address yuvraj narode sir आप 
It's my great privilege to welcome you all for this auspicious moment, the web seminar organized by our institute for our medical trust, Ayurvedic College and Sri Eknath Ayurvedic Rupnale by the Department of Trust Shastra. Due to this uh, COVID-19, the situation is been becoming worse and worse, but the knowledge we are having that we have to distribute to each and every one place, people, students. So we are being connected by the technology for the operation of students, teachers and the faculty. As you know, the R Institute Power Medical Trust was formed by our late founder, Padma Sri Dr. Vithal Rao Vikhe Patil in 1964. There, in the rural place, Loni. And in 1999, our visionary, late Khazda Dr. Palasa Vikhe Patil, Padma Bhushan Awardi established this Proro Medical Trust, Ayurvedic College, and Sri Eknath Hospital in Shogao, a remote, remote place in 1999 by having his great vision to give the knowledge to a, knowledge and a, to all the a poor students who are not affordable to take higher education in higher cities. Keeping on keeping that in mind, he established this hospital and this college in 1999, and with the strength of 40 students. And now we are having this strength of 100 students for UG and uh, PG 14 departments with 50 students. I congratulate to all the staff members of our college, principal, HODs, and all faculty members for organizing this great event, webinar arranged by this Rashasra unit. Again, congratulate to all the faculty of uh, Rashastra, HODs, professors, lecturers, readers for taking a hard work and all the students who are being helping them to organize such a great event. It's my great pleasure to share my views with you. In today's, what do we call it? Today's all the harsh days, we are all sharing our knowledge to each other by not facing, by not connecting uh, physically, by, by connecting with the technology. Once again, I congratulate and my best uh, and do my best to all the participants and all the faculty members and the Department of Prashasana of our union, our college, for organizing this great unit for this great uh, webinar. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for inspiring us. Now, I request Dr. B.T. Shinde, sir, Principal, Prahura Medical Trust, Ayurved College, Shevga, to give keynote of this webinar. Dr. B.T. Shinde, sir, Principal. Me, Dr. Shinde, B.T., Principal, Prahura Medical Trust, Ayurved College, Shevga. Pratamta. Me Sarvanche Sarva participantche Swagat Kurdo. Yatikani Gela Anik the Savasun upon COVID nineteen she's ever top. Yapar Shobi Murti, Sarva with their sense of sectioning Nuxan Hone, Yakarta, upon Yaja Vega web series arranged Kelilai, Yamade as Amchavagati, Rasa Shastra and Vegetable Panay Department Me, Ayaj Kelilai, Ya web series as Savatutai. Yatikani me, uh, Prathanta, Padmasri, Doctor Vitala Vikapati, Padmoshan, Doctor Hazar, uh, Hazar Balazavi Kapati, Yana Vinamra Vivanan Kurtu, 
या सर्व अकेडमिक क्षेत्र अपन काम करता अड़चणी लक्षा घेन कुछ विद्या नुकसान हो संस्थे का प्रयत्न है प्रयत्न मधे आम प्रवरा मेडिकल ट्रस्ट सेवा कैम्पेस के कार्यकारी संचालक डॉक्टर युवराज पाटिल नरवड़े मजे सर्व सहकारी अध्यापक विद्यार्थी मी मी खर मनापास आभार व्यक्त करते शास्त्र डिपार्टमेंट विभाग प्रमुख डॉक्टर कोटे सर डॉक्टर सतोष टोले डॉक्टर सूर्यवंश मैडम डॉक्टर शिंदे मैडम सर्व शिक्षक मी मनापस अभिनंदन करते ज्यादा अपन विद्या खरोखर कहीं तरी मार्गदर्शन वेब सीरीज मत करते स्पेशली थैंक्स टू स्पीकर मिस्टर कृष्ण कुमार मी मनापस आभार व्यक्त करते सर्व वेब सीरीज लाजे शुभे व्यक्त कर Thank you very much, sir. Before we get started, let me focus on purpose of organizing the webinar Rasamro 2020. The cause of autoimmune disorders are not known to date, and the disorders were not cured completely by medicines. In such a situation, Rasaushadis plays a very important role as एको असौ रसराज शरीर अजरामरम कुरुते असाध्यु अभी दातव्यो रसो अत श्रेष्ठ उच्यते वी आर ऑनर्ड टुडे टू हैव विथ अस सच अ पर्सनैलिटी हु कैन बी नैरेटेड एज पोटली वैद्य विदाउट बीइंग सो फॉर्मल लेट्स मो टू हियर डॉक्टर गोपी कृष्ण सर Now I request Dr. Rekha Shinde, Madam Assistant Professor, to introduce our today's resource person, Dr. Shinde, Madam. Please. Hello. Good afternoon, one and all. Myself, Dr. Rekha Shinde, Assistant Professor from Pravara Medical Trust Ayurved College in Department of Rasa Shastra and Biology Kalpana. Now I am going to uh, introduce our eminent today's eminent guest. Dr. M. Gopi Krishna, who is from Bellary, Karnataka, he is working as a professor and HOD in Department of Rasa Shastra and Biology Kalpana in Sri Jagat Guru Gavi Siddheshwara Ayurved Medical College, Karnataka. He is a member of API Ayush. He also a member of Mercurial Conservation in India Department of Ayush. He is well versed in many languages such as Sanskrit, English, Telugu. Hindi, Kannada, Tulu, and Tamil. He has done his BMS from SDM Ayurved College, Udupi, from Mangalore University. He has completed his MD in Rasa Shastra from SDM Ayurved College, Udupi. He also has done certificate courses in clinical nutrition, certificate sure, course in pediatrics, certificate in gynecology and obstetrics. Currently studying geology under the guidance of Andrew and Andrew from Rio. as a part of modern research he has worked at college of pharmaceutical sciences manipal national institute of technology surat kal trans disciplinary university bangalore under clinical research he tried many rasaushadis in various clinical condition till date with very encouraging results and being practicing rasaushadis predominantly he has worked in translation of various ayurvedic texts such as anand kan text from sanskrit to hindi under the guidance of professor siddhi nanda mishra sir translated basic ratnavali from sanskrit to hindi translated rasa ratnakar from talapatras of telugu version to sanskrit and chikitsa paddhati from telugu talapatras to sanskrit version he also has vast experience in field survey conducted over number of years his field surveys include the forest of andhra pradesh in sri shailam forest mahanandi forest Nalagonda Forest, Devgiri Forest. He also has attended and presented a number of papers at international and national seminars. It is an absolute honor to have an such an experienced and knowledgeable person with us today as our guest speaker, who will surely enlighten us on the role of Rasa Ushadis in autoimmune disorders. Now, may I now request our guest to deliver his lecture. please sir you can now continue with your lectures thank you very much thank you
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, before we start, I would like to uh, acknowledge the Pravara Medical Trust, also Sri Eknath, the Ayurvedic Medical College, Shebao, for giving me this opportunity to share a few of my ideas and opinions with you people. So, especially to my own department, Rasa Shastra and Baisha Jagalpana, who are always active in conducting such uh, sessions because from Shevkao College, this is my second session being done. And I'm very happy to share a few of my ideas regarding with uh, the Rasaushadis as Rasayana Chikitsa and uh, try to share a few of my clinical experiences with you people. So with this basic ideology, I would like to start with my presentation for today's lecture. Salutation to the God. Salutation to the God, Dhanvantri and Lord Shiva himself for making this to happen. Ayurveda is being tremendously attributed with so many medicines. There are many metal, metals, minerals, and also there are many other substances which are enormously great in action therapeutically. And among them, the specific one which I would like to highlight is about the Kotali Kalpanas. So especially the Kotali Kalpanas, I, I believe a lot and I practice a lot just because of the reason like uh, they are very quick in action, they are very safe in action and also they are very prompt. I don't say the other drugs are not quick enough, they are definitely quick enough, but I have a concept in Ayurveda which claims about Samskaram Gunantaradhan. The next thing is about more and more of Gandhaka Jarana. More is a therapeutic property of it. So more of Gandhaka Jarana in the sense here for the Potali Kalpanas, we would have given many of the Gandhaka Jaranas. So on that grounds, I use Potalis because they are deeper in penetration, fast in action, and it is something like hits the bullseye. It is pinpointing target drug delivery. So on that grounds, with this short introduction, let us go in detail about what is the Rasayana? What is its importance today, especially to the present crisis or whatever the situation we are facing from? So when we see the reference from Charaka Chikitsa Sana, I don't want to go with the total details of the textual grounds. Let us share more of the clinical experiences because these are directly from the textbook of Ayurveda. Dirgamayam Spruti Medham Arogyam Tarunam Reha Prabhavarana Swara Udarya Dehendriya Balam Param Vaksidhim Pranatim Kantim Labho so it's not along with the physical strength, it is also states about the mental strength, a sort of a homeostasis in an individual to see that he stands for a long time in controlling his own health in a normalcy, in an equilibrium. And also to have a sort of a Vyadik Shamatva property because Rasayanas are one such substances which can increase the health ascertainment in an individual, increase the warriors in the form of a Vyadik Shamatva property. You have more references from the Rasyeshwara Darshana wherein uh, while explaining the Rasa Shastra, he has explained like a Nacha Rasa Shastram, Dhatu Adhartha Mevite Mantavya. Dehaveda, so he specifies here specifically it is for the Dehavada as well. It's not alone for the Dhatuvada. It is specifically for the Dehavada as well. Paramam Prayojanatvat. It is also a main motto of Ayurveda. That is, Rasa Shastra is for Dehavada as well. Again, you have a reference from Rasarnava wherein he claims about the Rasi Bhavanti Lohani Bruthani Suravandite. Haranti Sakalan Rogan Rasivtani Kimpunaha. Wherein Acharya explains, when you read the textbook of Rasa Shastra, the whole index of drugs or Rasayana, 
because they are so stable in action they are so prompt in action they are so much having that resilient property it is increasing the dhatus it is making the dhatus to the normal se so this is what acharya has been explained from the textbook of rasarnama rasi bhavanti lokani also you have more references from ayurveda prakash and other drugs uh, textbooks where he speaks about the vali palita kalitya karsya bala jara amayan nivarya dadyate deham drunam tad vatame mataha so on this grounds whenever you want to have any drug to act especially on these clinical conditions you are supposed to attribute them with that of rasayana rasayana or one set of drugs it doesn't mean like only to increase your vyadhik shamatva it doesn't mean like uh, it's only meant for to ward you off from the disorder it doesn't mean like it is only uh, the drug which is to be taken as mandated to every person it is one such a drug which makes you to become stable you you don't have waves in your life like ups and downs in respect to the health so that is the reason you are you are supposed to uh, that is the reason why you are supposed to go with it so on the on this grounds let us try to see rasayana in general maintenance in routine lives where in acharya explains about the seven of the nitya seven of swarna parada gandaka to maintain a healthy life every person is supposed to have parada gandaka and swarna every day in his life to have a rasayana action this is a reference what you have from ananda kanda and also from sushruta also rasayana as vyadhik shamatva chikitsa which can help you to ward off the diseases and also helps you to be be away from the disorders rasayana is vyadhikarana even though the person is suffering from particular illness when you are giving these drugs whenever you are giving these drugs they help you to have a vyadhihara property a person is suffering from jwara it causes jwara hara a person is suffering from atisara it causes atisara hara similarly rasayana in dirga kalena vyadhis chronicity of the illnesses and in episodes of the disorders say for example a person is suffering from psoriasis a person is suffering from amavata a person is suffering from episodic disorders of these kinds like autoimmune disorders which is commonly seen so in all these conditions or in chronicity of the illnesses where a person is suffering from long standing illnesses a person is suffering from vata vyadhi since months and years together a person is suffering from punaravartaka jwara or purana jwara or any of such conditions in all these places it is up to us to prescribe him with the rasayana dravya it is only rasayana which can protect him to ward off such chronicity of the illnesses or episodes of the illness as you see in case of autoimmune and other grave disorders the dirga kalena vyadhis you are supposed to give him with rasayana set of drugs rasayana in jara chikitsa definitely because the person uh, already is having uh, uh, the vata prakopa because vayoratri bhuktanam tenta madhyadirka kramat so in that way the person because of his age factor is already having a sort of a uh, vata guishta is having a vata pradhana and he is tend to have uh, less of bala and also he is having a moderate ojas so at this time it is up to us to prescribe all the geriatric people to uh, do the rasayana seva by doing rasayana seva the person will get more and more strength and maintenance of the health which is very much essential at least to come back with the situations which all of us are facing on the present day so with this we'll try to see if at all we can have some small introduction about the autoimmune disorders an autoimmune disease is a condition in which your immune system mistakenly attacks your body so uh, we need to understand this grounds especially for the pressures i'll say it is one such condition wherein your body is attacking attacking your own cells your body is unable to recognize that this are my cells and this are the foreign cells and your body starts to react and it starts to affect your own body so the immune system normally guards against the germs like bacteria and viruses when it senses these foreign invaders it sends out an army of fighter cells to attack them so normally what happens whenever you have any of the bacteria or virus or any of the foreign substances of these kinds coming into the body these immune systems of the body sends lots of warriors by which the enemy cells or the foreign cells are been warded off or been attacked by the soldiers of the body in case if you are unable to combat with the situation then the person will fall ill then the person will fall ill so ayurveda is one such a science which strongly believes in prevention is better than cure 
So on that grounds, you are supposed to protect an individual. You are supposed to see that he is being well balanced by taking such Rasayana Dravya so that this mechanism is being very well balanced or very well improved so that he doesn't fall ill in his life. So normally the immune system can tell about what is the difference between a foreign cell and your own body. And this gnana or this prabodhana in an individual cell is being lost. And the person's body itself starts to attack his own cells and cause lots of havoc and distress in an individual. So this phenomena has to be altered. This phenomena has to be altered or else his own body will become his enemy. So in an autoimmune disorder, the immune system mistakenly take part, uh, kills the body cells, like it could be a joints, it could be skin or anything as a foreign body. It releases a protein called as autoantibody that attacks the healthy cells. So this should not happen. Once you did not arrest this process, then it starts to... Uh, Hello, sir. Voice is not audible, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Gopi Krishna, sir. of the Rasayana Dravyas. to maintain with autoimmune system then that particular person is going to fall ill and is going to have lots of havoc in the body and is going to deteriorate himself because his body has become his own enemy and it starts to kill the system so on that grounds it's not alone to treat the disease it's your doctor's authority to see that you increase the rasayana tattva you make your body to recognize what is your body and what is a foreign body educate your body and try to see that this system is being repaired once for all or else this is going to create multiple problems in lifetime so let us enlist a few of the disorders which are uh, especially these 14 disorders are considered as very commonly seen at least in india uh, these are autoimmune disorders so basically you have more than 80 but still these are very really high uh, like as you see here, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, multiple sclerosis, Addison's Graves, vasculitis, celiac disease. So there are many of these disorders. I'll say most of us who are into the clinical setup would have been definitely attended many of these conditions in our clinics. A person who, are, who is attending his clinic regularly will definitely have all these disorders. And for all of them, it is up to you to encourage or to support to give him the Rasayana Chikitsa along with Vyadi Harana substances and try to see that you don't have the patient to fall ill into these clinical presentations again and again. So for that reason, you are supposed to treat the condition, uh, treat the condition and treat the patient in a accordance as per Rasayana Chikitsa. So in general, about what are the autoimmune disorders, uh, specific symptoms, 
the early symptoms could be something like in most of the conditions usually it is been observed like uh, fatigue achy muscles swelling and redness low grade fever numbness and tingling in the hands and feet hair loss skin rash individual diseases can also have their own unique symptoms as you see in case of diabetes etc so either of these presentations could be seen in the patient and uh, we are will be highlighting or we'll be discussing more on amavata chikitsa today because most of these conditions of autoimmune therapy can be treated very well with amavata chikitsa this is what i do follow because sarvan roga mandagnam and i strongly believe in the concept of a agni in the body which can treat or cure all the organs or all the cells of the body so all this ama condition has been very well understood by this amavata chikitsa so we'll be highlighting more on the amavata chikitsa today added to the treatment protocols and the clinical experiences along with the set of drugs which we can use in autoimmune disorders so few qualities are expected in a drug to act on these set of illnesses and they are say for example you want to select some drug then those drugs which are there should have basically these guna karmas in them so that it can treat with the autoimmune conditions so what are these conditions you have something like drugs which are containing ushnavirya and almost all the rasaushadis are ushnavirya because they are agni sanikarsha you have given so many putas there so agni tattva is become an essential component of it and it can definitely be given in the most of the patients to increase the agni of an individual so drugs with ushnavirya also abhishyanda hara so once you have this ama sets in in an individual it starts to disturb an individual by clogging the vessels or the shrotosis which might cause a shroto sangha avarodha or any other disorders so you need some drug which acts as abhishyanda hara you need some drug which does the agni mandya hara it should be deepana pachana abhishyanda hara agni mandya hara it should treat the conditions like that of ajirna because in the initial condition the person will have a small scale of ajirna might be in the chaya prabhava avastha then in case if you are unable to treat him then he will land up into other disorders or the disease will progress so you need to have a set of drug which is having ajirna hara ama vikara hara it should be helpful in treating the ama vikaras amashaya balaprada because the prime thing most of the disorders of these kinds udbhava sthana is amashaya so we need some drug which is acting a local effect on the stomach or the amashaya because the udbhava sthana of most of the autoimmune disorders or the uh, that uh, such kind of disorders or udbhava sthana is from the amashaya so we need some drug like uh, amashaya balaprada set of drugs because of the udbhava sthana and very specifically i strongly believe in amavata hara even though the person is suffering from recurrent fevers i still advise him amavata chikitsa in case of chronicity in case i am sure like it is autoimmune disorder i try to treat the patient with that of many of such conditions even though it is some autoimmune disorder like that of uh, uh, ulcerative colitis i like to treat him with amavata chikitsa only initially i need to ensure myself like the person is a nirama he has to come to nirama avastha then i shift to my medicines then i shift to my medicines or else basically amavata chikitsa becomes a sort of a common platform in most of the rasayana chikitsa or the disorders related to the amasha uh, autoimmune conditions so what are the deepana set of drugs you have many deepana pachana set of drugs in rasa shastra i'll say because of the agni sanikarsha you have lots of drugs which has been having this property of deepana and pachana so few of them can be explained added to these qualities the rasayana set of drugs are even advised as it's a chronic disease and should develop the vyadhi kshamatva so even you need a vyadhi kshamatva property there along with deepana pachana and other properties which we have discussed it should have the vyadhi kshamatva property so that it can compact with the illness of an individual where is suffering from and also you can go for the planning of the chikitsa in a long run so other qualities based on that grounds it should be something like amruta guna yukta dravyas because it should increase the potency and the normalcy because of the constant insults of the body in respect to the doshas and dushyas in the form of a samprapti which has insulted the tissues of the body should be rejuvenated so you need amruta guna yukta dravyas you need to increase the life expectancy of an individual because of the repeated insults 
repeated occurrence or episodes of the disorders, the person's IU is going to become less. So some drugs which can act as IU share set of drugs, you need these drugs to increase the life expectancy or normalcy or maintenance of an individual. Shad Rasa Yukta Dravyas, because uh, Ayurveda strongly believes in Shad Rasa Yukta Dravyas or having Uttama Rasayanas. The person's bala is being affected. Bala in the sense that don't alone consider like the physical strength. It also includes the psychological strength. It also includes the tissue strength. It also includes the cellular strength. So this bala of an individual should be for that you need called as balia set of drugs which can rectify or synthesize this bala in an individual. Because bala is also a synonym for ojan. So in any of these conditions, the prime factor or the key factor is Ojo. So added to Balia, we need Ojo Vardak set of drugs. We need the set of drugs which are claimed under the category of Rasayana, Rasayaneshu Sarveshu and uh, Ruth Balyakara. So this is something slightly altered. Why you need Ruth Balyakara and Ruth Rogahara set of drugs? One thing we need to understand here is the sthan of the Ojas is a Rudaya. So you, you always try to focus on the sthana. Always try to focus on the sthana. So Oja sthana is rudaya. So you need to treat the person with the autoimmune disorders where you expect like Ojo Dushti or Ojo Vyapan is being observed in an individual. You are supposed to give him some rudya set of drugs so that he doesn't have the Oja sthana being affected. The Oja Sthana should not be affected. So Rudh Balyakara and Rudh Rogahara set of drugs are to be included. Next is the Manasika Vyadihara because many of them have lost their psychological norm. So which has to be re-established by giving him with Manasika Vyadihara set of drugs. So even after so much of effort, sometimes it happens that the person will land up into asadhya state of an illness. There are many autoimmune disorders where the person will land up into asadhya states. The person will go out of the reach. The person will not be able to control by any of the factors, uh, by the regular factors which we have discussed till now. So on that grounds, we need those people to add up with the drugs like asadhya roga nashtakara and mrutyuna to ward off the mrutyu. So by which you can be helpful to protect the individual from warding a half from the mrityu. But sometimes it happens for the patients who are into the ICU or someone like where you have multiple organ failures because many times the person is into autoimmune disorders, multiple organ failures or sex in. There are multiple complaints in the body. Heart is affected, is affected, like many systems of the body has been affected in the form of complication or Vyasa Sankara could be the possibility. So for such illnesses where you have the Vyadi Sankara or multiple organic damage or multiple systemic involvement, you need to have a set of drugs called as a Sarva Vyadi Hara. So you need the set of drugs which cause the Sarva Vyadi Hara. So based on the disease condition and the avastha of the patient, you can refer, you can see the references from the various textbooks and uh, try to see that you rectify his Agni, you rectify the Ama, you rectify the Ojas, you rectify the Bala, the Dhatu Dushti, Oja Vyapat or Ojo Dushti, Rasayana and also the other factors which we have discussed. So based on these grounds which we have theoretically discussed till now, we try to see what are the drugs which can be used. So these are the Ushnaviri set of drugs which can be given in most of these patients because we need to see that the person's Ushna or the Agni of an individual is highly supportive. For that we need to give these drugs like Shilajatu, Chapala, Gandaka, Kasisa, Spatika, Haratala, Manashila, Rasanjana, Kankushta, Kampilaka, Navasadara. So these are the set of drugs. The next column is, uh, sorry, the next row is about the, uh, uh, the set of textbook references. The next one is about the chapter number and the shloka number. So based on this, the other drugs from the Ushnaviriya set and uh, added to that, we can uh, also select with uh, the Abhishan, the Hara drugs. Whenever you have the channels being blocked in an individual like uh, Shoto Sangha is being observed, then you need to give him with Abhishan, the Hara, which includes the Karavira and Vatsanaba. So this is the reason why we prescribe Vatsanaba in Jwara. This is the reason why Vatsanaba is considered as one of the Uttama Rasayana because it doesn't allow the body to clog. It doesn't allow any of the Shrotasas to block. So on that grounds, we need to give them with the Abhishyan, the Hara set of drugs. Next is Agni Mangekara. So people will have Agni Mangekara, then the disease will set in. So before the disease sets in, you try to see that you maintain his Agni Bala. 
So Agni Mandihara, whatever you have, should be increase the Agni by, by administering either of these drugs like Abraka, Vaikranta, Makshika, Shilajatu, Gandaka, Gauri, Pashana, Navasadara, Varatika, Hingula, Rajata, Kantaloha, Naga, Mukta, Pishti, Panna, Pusharaga, Raja, Varta, Shenka, Tankana, Bhang, Vatsanaba. In case the first symptom experienced by the person is a short scale of the Ajirna, then you need a drugs like Bhang and Vishatinduka, which can do the Ajirna Vinashanam. The person lands up into the disorders like that of Amavikara. For that, you need to give him to remove the Amavikaras by the drugs like Abraka, Shilajatu, Gandaka, Kampilaka, and Tamra. I, as, I, as we have already discussed, Amashaya Balaprada, you need to see something like his Amashaya, you increase the strength. And for that, one of the chief drugs explained by Rasa Tarangini is the Bhanga. By administering that the Amashaya Balaprada occurs, by which the Udbhavasthana of most of these disorders is being hacked at the Udbhavasthana itself. So try to see that the condition is being well balanced right from the beginning state. Amavatahara. The disease, when it progresses, it is very well responded to the Amavata Chikitsa. Even though it is viral fevers, Amavata Chikitsa is said to be the best form of treatment. The drugs like Mrutyunjara Saroke Varidina Amruta Rishta, which is commonly given in Mrutu Amavata, also acts wonderful in most of the disease conditions of either systems of the body when you are expecting Ama as a root cause. So, Hingula, Kantaloha, Gunja, Ahifena, and Vatsanaba are the chief drugs explained in Rasa Shastra for Amavata Hara. Deepana set of drugs, the whole index of Rasa Shastra sets in because all drugs are having Deepana Pachana quality. So, these are Deepana set of drugs. You can refer them later on from the slides. These are Deepana set of drugs. There are many drugs which can be given as Deepana. So many drugs are there from various textbooks. You can refer them there directly from the textbook. The next is a Pachana set of drugs where you have Ama, Ama, Pachana is essential, wherein you try to give them with the Gandaka, Navasadara, Varatika, Hingulava, Vanga, Pravala, Pusharaga, Gomeda, Rajavarta, Vishatinduka, etc. Nitya Sevan of Parada and Gandaka to be given because of the Swastya Palana. Shadrasa Yukta Dravyas like Vaikranta and Vajra could be given because they are Shadrasa Yukta as claimed by the textbooks of Ayurveda Prakash and Rasatarangini by which you can have an excellent response in an individual by the Ras Uttama Rasayana. Rasayana set of drugs which is considered as Amruta Tulya or like Abraka, Makshika, Kantaloha and Vajra. Ayusha set of drugs to increase the Ayusha of an individual wherein you can increase the life expectancy of an individual especially in the Jara Vyadi and also in autoimmune conditions, we need to prescribe them with Abraka, Vaikranta, Swarna, Rajata, Tamra, Kantaloha, Naga, Manikya, Mukta, Shukti, Pusharaga, Vajra, Vaidurya. Rasayana set of drugs like Makshika, Vimala, Shilajatu, Tutta, Gandaka, Haratala, Nilanjana, Hingula, Swarna, Rajata, Kantaloha. Similarly, like Vajra, Rajavarta, Surya, Kanta, Balataka and Vatsanaba. Rasayanishu, Sarveshu, Vaikranta, Makshika and Manashila, which are always uh, in the form of Rasayana. In any form you give them, they act as Rasayana. So, Sanko Chakaranadina Balakrut. Many times, Abhishanda occurs here because of Shotu Roda or Sangha like pathologies. You need to relieve it. You need to see the shrinkering of the arteries are to be removed. Shrinkering of the vessels are to be addressed well. So, for that, we need to give him with Sanko Chakaranadina Balakrut set of drugs like Tutta Kasi Saspatika and Mruddhara Shringa, as claimed by the textbook of Rasa Tarangini. Sarva Vyadihara, the person is having a tendency of landing up into many disorders or he might land up into prognosis of the illness. You are unable to diagnose Anukta Vyadis. So in any of these conditions which has the Rasayana property, these are the drugs which can be given in Sarva Vyadihara. Like Abraka, Makshika, Gandaka, Hingula, Swarna, Rajata, Kantaloha, Naga, Vajra. Asadhi Roga, in case if it happens to land up into Asadhi Roga, then you need to give him with the drugs like Abraka and Makshika, which converts the Asadhi Roga into Sadhya and it cures it. Dhatu Vivardhana, in case if you want to increase the Dhatu of an individual, then go for the administration of Swarna in an individual. In case if it is Ojo Vardhaka, try to plan up with the Haratana, Swarna and Panna preparations for him. And the Mrutyugna set of drugs, if the person is supposed to die, is in uh, a intensive care, wherein the person needs an emergency management. You might have to plan up with the drugs or something of these kinds like Abraka, Makshika, Shilajatu, Gandaka, Haratala, Kantaloha, Naga and Vajra, which could be very much helpful. Pushti Vardaka, like Mukta Shukti and Panna could be given. 
and uh, Pushtikara, Kantaloha and Shanka could be given. Rudh Balyakara, Gauri Pashan and Vishatinduka. Similarly, Rudh Rogahara, these are the set of trucks, and Rudh Shulahara, these are set of trucks which can also be given. Waiting many times for the Rudroga is not good. Always try to see that before he lands up into Rudroga is being addressed well with the situation so that he can definitely uh, uh, not land up into the grave disorders. So Manasika Vyadihara, you need to give the drugs like Gandaka, Manashila, Spatika and all. So this is basically about the set of drugs in respect to the conceptualization of the drug protocols which can be used. So almost all the Rasaushadis or Rasayana in action, primarily the Kalvi Rasayana, Kupi Paku and Potali Rasayanas, very specifically can be given in most of the conditions for a longer term to have a condition something like the Rasayana. So on this particular grounds, we can go with the exclusive arrangement of the drug protocols which can be given. Like you have the drugs like the Loha Garbakotali, which I am extensively using in the disorders for the Rasayana Tattva or the autoimmune disorders. Whenever you have the disease illness in an individual being observed, wherein is Rasa and Rakta Vahashrotas has been involved. Whenever a person is having a disease like Kushta, when a person is having a disorder in Rasa and Rakta Vahashrotas, whenever the person is having with a moderate level, because Loha doesn't increase Pitta nor hampers Pitta, it is a Somyadravya basically. It is a Somyadravya, can be blindly given to most of the people in, irrespective of considering the, con, uh, the conflicts of Pitta, Vata or Kapha, either of the Doshas, whenever you're administering the Loha Garba. And it is absolutely safe and can be given to all age group of people. So this is the importance of the Loha Garba totally. So these are the textual indications. The Malagarpa portali exclusively used in the disorders wherever you have the Vata and Kapha as an outset. Don't give Malagarpa portali for the people who are having excess of Pitta, either in Prakrutitika or Vikrutika Pitta. So don't give them with the Malla because Malagarpa is primarily an arsenic compound, which could cause some problem to an individual. So on that ground, so don't give him with the trough. Uh, Haratala preparation because Malagarpa is nothing but arsenic compound. So this is specifically given as a Uttama Rasayana and controls the Vata and Kapha very extensively and it also it is, it is very much beneficial in clinical administration of Malagarpa in many conditions like the other respiratory illnesses. Many of the conditions wherever you find like most of these doshas are being involved, involved or deep rootedness of the doshas are being involved. Achha, you achha, have a very strong achha, achha, kapha affected. And these are the textual indications as claimed from the text. The next thing is about the tamra garba portali, which can be give, again specifically given in the chronicity of the illnesses whenever you have any of the disorders in chronicity. Whenever you have some uh, cicatrization in the body, you have Vata and Kapha being involved, you have hyperkeratinization in an individual, especially you have the disorders of the skin, you have some disorders of the cartilages and bones. So in all these conditions, we are prescribing them like the Tamra Garba Potali. In the disorders of the GAT, where you have Vata and Kapha as an involvement with the Pitta Kshaya, in all those conditions, Tamra Garba is a boon to them which can clear many of those conditions. So these are again the portalis from the textual references. Prajatagarbha portalis specifically given for the female disorders, specifically given as a condition wherever you find the Rasayana with the Saumya effect, where you would like to have a Saumya con uh, consistency in an individual, then we give them with that of uh, Rajatagarbha. So it is specifically given in various conditions like Mutavyati, Prameha, Shukra Dosha and all. Vishagarbha specifically given, it's a compound of all arsenic compounds, includes Haratala, Manashila, Gauripashana, Hingula, Gandaka, Parada, everything as an ingredient in this. So this particular Vishagarbha portal is being given in the disorders wherever you have it relation with that of the Rasan Raktava Shrotas, the infection primarily spreading through the Rasan Raktava Shrotas, Vishagarbha portal will directly hamper it, will uh, make it a sort of a barrier so that the disease will not progress. So this is how we need to plan up with the various clinical conditions whenever you have with these things. The next thing is about the Tridhatu Garba. Whenever you have the diseased condition, wherever the person is landing up into the Tridoshaja conditions, 
especially with the vata pradhanaja or congenital disorders. The parents are having autoimmune disorders. The children also tend to have a autoimmune disorder. So in those people, you are supposed to prescribe them with that of the Tridhatu Garbha totally. By administering this Tridhatu Garbha, his Tridoshi configurances come back to the normal. And added to that, the person will not have the congenital effect to such an extent as the parents would have been suffered with. Say, for example, the parents are type 1 diabetes. Then you don't want the children to land up into that particular disease. Give Tridhatu Garbha to the children for a short term. Might be it's for three months, six months, or one year, something like, and try to see that in case, if at all, you can arrest that disease condition in an induction. So these are the various uh, clinical indications for the Tridhatu Garbha totally, which can be given. Shila Garbha is almost similar to that of Malla Garbha, but this is uh, comparatively milder to that of Malla because the concentration of arsenic here is less compared to that of Malla Garbha. So the clinical efficacy is the same based on the Pitta factor. You can give either Malla Garbha, Shila Garbha, or next is the Tala Garbha. So either of these three things specifically given in infective pathologies and also in the disorders of the Pitta, and disorders or conditions like Kasa, Shwasa, or respiratory system, Pranava, Shota, Vyadis, and other conditions. Talagarbha is another set of drugs which are comparatively milder to the top of the Shilagarbha and Malagarbha, which also can be given in most of these clinical conditions. Pravanagarbha is exclusively used a drug which causes the uh, Pitta Shamana and Rakta Sanjanana. So it is specifically used in Sukumara, Bala, Stri, Garbini, Vruddha, Jaravyadi, Rasan, Raktava, Shotas, and Datu Pushtikara. So this is one such a drug which is does the Pitta Shamana, Jwara Shamana, Rasayana in action, and also it is exclusively used in most of the disorders of the Rasan, Raktava, Shotas. Also to this, the next one is a Ratnagarbha. The Falashruti of the Ratnagarbha explains you like you are unable to treat a patient. Whatever you give, the patient is not responding. Then you are supposed to prescribe him with Ratnagarbha. Because he speaks about the Rasati Ojovardhana, especially in the disorders, Rajarogas, which are not easily controlled. So when the patient is not showing any response with either of the prescriptions you have given, then in all those conditions, we are supposed to give him with the top Ratnagarbha totally. By this, it happens like the person will have a sort of an increase of that ojas or bala instantly. The last one, or possibly the best one, which I very commonly use in my clinical practice, is a hemagarbha totally. So, this is one such thing which is specifically given in Rajakshma. Rajakshma is a sort of syndrome like presentation. Raktakshoba, any of the disorders related to the blood or any of the hemopathic alterations, or in case of Jirnavas of the Vyadi any chronicity of the illnesses or oja kshaya. Whenever you have oja kshaya in an individual, then in all these conditions, you are supposed to give him with hemagarbha totally. So this very commonly I prescribe them in malignancies. I give them in uh, chronic illnesses, conditions like ILD, conditions like uh, uh, asthmatic cardiac asthma or any of the conditions which are very chronic, including bronchiectasis, also in emphysema like conditions. Most of these conditions I do use Ahimagarbha in my clinical practice. So uh, the best one you have another is a Rasagarbha, which is the best yoga vahi set of drugs. You tag it with any suitable anapanam, you are unable to judge which portal I am supposed to give. You can give it with Rasagarbha, which goes and acts clinically or therapeutically so active in most of those clinical pathologies. Only thing is you need to suit a suitable anapanam, wherein the person can have an excellent response with that of the Rasagarbha. So these are various portalists which have enumerated based on the uh, Dhatu level. Rasa, Radhava, Shotas, Lohagarbha and Pravalagarbha. Mamsava Shotas Tamra, Visha and Rajatagarbha, Medova Shotas Thala, Shila and Rajatagarbha, Astiva Shotas specifically the Pravada and Tamra Garbha, Majava Shotas specifically the Malagarbha and Rajatagarbha, Shukrava Shotas with Tridhatu Garbha, Ojas affected then Hemagarbha and Ratnagarbha could be the choice. So this could be one of the gross protocol. Of course, you need to assess the dosha and dosha samurchana and try to prescribe the medicines. But this is in gross a recognized for referring with the portalis which can be given at various dhatu levels. So other prescriptions could be very simple like Mrutyanjara, Sarogya, Vardhini and Jaimangal dress, which can act and it is easily available to most of you at your clinic itself. So these drugs could be at an outset like where it can be used for most of such a clinical 
presentations. So some of the clinical presentations, as we have already discussed about initially, we have claimed about the uh, conditions like the multiple sclerosis, which is also a autoimmune disorder. So this was a patient who had a complaint uh, of numbness all over the body and tingling sensation. You find lots of distress in an individual and it was being a diagnosed case of multiple sclerosis. So for this particular patient, we have given her with that of the Hemagarbha, we have given her with Arogya Vardini, Punarnavadi Mandura, and for a very short period, we have given even Tamragarbha. Tamragarbha was given for three months, the rest later, we have given for Hemagarbha for another five to six months. And uh, astonishingly to see, she is very much fine and the numbness have totally disappeared. She doesn't have any tingling sensation. So this, this is a very old case. I'm treating uh, this particular case since years. And now even she is taking the medicines, but the concentration of the dosage is very less. Initially, I used to give eight grams of Swarna or Hemagarbha Potali per month. Now I'm giving only one gram per month. But basically the patient is asymptomatic and she's totally fine. The next one is about the trigeminal neuralgia. It is so severe in pain when the trigeminal nerve is being affected with the neuralgia that patient finds a sort of suicidal tendency. Such was this case when he was suffering from a diagnosed trigeminal neuralgia, was unable to even take liquids or solids as well. Then this particular patient had to suffer a large, uh, lot and he was being uh, referred for uh, going for a ganglionectomy or try, but he will be having the discomforts of the surgical removal of it because he might have a uh, mandibular drop, he might have a salivary drop later. So you have lots of these uh, social stigmas which loses the quality of an individual. So for this particular patient, we have planned up and we have given him with uh, Hemagarbha. Also we have given him with the Pravanagarbha. We have also given him with that of the Tamragarbha. And even this patient is still in follow-up, at least from past uh, six years. And uh, the dosage is comparatively very, very, very low. He doesn't have any episodes of illnesses now. But only thing is he's scared, like in case if he withdraws again, he goes back to its original state and he'll start having a lot of distress. So on that grounds, the person started to take the medicine and still he's on medication, but to a very, very moderate dose. So uh, it's, uh, it's a very moderate dose, which is going to see the eventual response in the patient. Now the patient is able to have even the solid diet. The patient is even able to chew the roti and other curries of those kinds is very uh, normal. And even his reports turned as per scan, totally normal. So similarly, you have the thyroid complaints. So in all this thyroid complaint, this was a case of thyroid alteration, as you see here. Uh, so before treatment, it was 12.32 and the normal range is 0.3 to 5.5. So here basically, as I told you, only Agni Mandyahara. So we have given with Mrityunjaras, Arogya Vardini and Amruta Rishta for three months. Then later on, within 45 days, initial 45 days, we could get the response of TSH into normal. You can see the report here. The person's TSH is almost very much to the normal 6.06. .06. So this is how we can tackle with many of such a clinical conditions because these thyroid pathologies are almost every alternate or third patient coming to you is a thyroid pathology where you have a moderate rise in TSH. So it gives such a drugs which can remove the arm and which is Rasaina in action you find this response. Need not to start them. And this patient is not on any uh, contemporary medicines. He is not having a support of any other system of medicines. He is taking only Ayurvedic medicines and they are totally fine today. So similarly, you can see here a case of goiter. Again, multinodal or goiter here. You can see the sizes of the nodules and also the isthmus, which has been um, hypertrophied, as, as well as you can see the nodules, the sizes of the nodules and the enlargement as you find here, and you can see the patient eventually uh, totally recoiling, and you can see totally it has been regressing. The sizes of the nodules have been significantly reduced. The isthmus is almost turned to normal, and uh, multiple nodules are also started to disappear. So these are the various uh, clinical conditions which was achieved with simple drugs, like simple Chandra Prabha, Rokivardini, Dashamula. Only thing is for such conditions where I expect Vata and Kapha as an involvement, I do add Tamragarbha Potali to such patients. So Tamragarbha Potali was also given for this particular patient. And even this patient right from 2020 or 15 is still in my follow-up.
चालू आहे तू जॉईन झाली का त्याला हो झाली ना झाली त्या याला आपलं कशाच रस अमृतला हो ठीक आहे जर लिंक जर पाठवली तर मला चान्सेस कमी मोबाईल राहील त्यामुळे चान्सेस कमीच आहे उत्तरण्याचे so these are the various clinical conditions wherein the whole of the organic changes has been appreciated including the anatomical change it's not alone the physiological change it's even the anatomical change so this is what tamra garbha can do to your patient only thing is in case if the patient doesn't respond initially then we have to mandatorily add with hema garbha and get the situation to control and come back to uh, tamra in case if the patient is affordable you can maintain them on hemagarbha in case or you don't have hemagarbha you can go for swarna basma you don't have tamragarbha you can go for tamra basma so either of these can be taken for the selectivity and can use it so this was a case of sle who has been treated with external application of this oil this oil is made up of uh, gairika jasada and raktavargiya dravyas which was given and oral administration of mrutyunjaya rasa arogyavardhini and jaimangal ras by which uh, the whole of the lesions of sle have been disappeared so this application on external application or also supported as a lot because the irritation which she had was so extensive that it could control or it could the situation to happen normal possibly within one and a half to two months wherein she was been suffering from past three to five years the same thing in the form of a powder for external lepa or application or in the form of a udvartana considering the pitta factor in an individual similarly the conditions like the diabetes mellitus wherein you can see the response in the patient here before and after one thing is i as a patient to keep a satsya kamani with him as a mani dharana chikitsa added to that uh, you can support the patient with the drugs like simple chandra prabha arogya vardhini mrutyunjaya rasa kaishura gugulu or any simple drugs which is having the rasayana property as well as vyadhi shamana property this was a case of ulcerative colitis wherein uh, the person had nearly 40 to 60 blood stains stool per day and lots of pain and discomfort throughout so for this patient we have given the pravana garbha potali in the form of a pichha basti in enema we have mixed the basmas and we have pushed it and uh, the person has successively improved of course we have taken nearly 12 to 15 months to have this repair and the person is fine oral supplementation was also given with the drugs like hema garbha the person was also been taken with that of the pravana garbha and it was been given for pretty long time by which much of the clinical conditions were been very well arrested and the person is fine hail and healthy today so this is another case of ulcerative proctitis wherein the pravana garbha was been given in the form of a matra basti because the age of this uh, child is only 9 years so we were unable to give with the other uh, modes like pichha basti and all so we have given it only in the form of uh, the matra basti so these potalis or this rasayana kalpas can be given oral route and also through the enema route provided the same dosage form of the oral route can also be given in the form of enema route and it can be given you can see the response in the patient within a very short period within a very short period between 6 to 8 months the patient is totally fine the ulcerative proctitis is totally disappeared so this is what we need this is what we need in an individual we want to see what best we can do to an individual and people are worried about the abdominal radiography in such patients see the abdominal radiography is as well very much normal it's absolutely normal no no complaints about the abdominal radiography in any of these patients so avoid the spread of the cancer or the metastasis is also an important phenomenon as a rasayana chikitsa because the person is going to to deteriorate faster and faster if there is a spread of the illness either of the illnesses one such illness is of the malignancies so in all those conditions as i have claimed rasa rakta pitta and agni should be maintained so i give vaishya garbha potali 
So Vishagarbha Portali was being given to this particular patient. You can see the PET scan report of this patient. You can see the sizes of the malignant tumors elsewhere in the body. Uh, lots of lymph nodes have been affected, everything. So Hemagarbha and Vishagarbha could make this miracle of arresting the spread of the disease in respect to the metastasis in the patient for a longer run. So you can see the eventual report, the PET scan report of the patient, and she's fine. So in the condition like this, cirrhosis of the liver, you can see within a short interval of nearly one month or one and a half month, the chronic liver parenchymal disease. In the prior report, the patient was in ICU, wherein we give him with Hemagarban, Tamragarbha Kotali, along with Arogya Vardini, Krutuklihari Lohan, Kumar Yasava, as a combination, could uh, reverse. And you can see the status of the liver in the second half of the slide, wherein the liver is totally normal. There is no... Uh, split uh, hepatomegaly there is no cirrhosis there is no fibrosis as well so this changes was being very well appreciated in this patient and this miracle can be achieved with the drugs like these rasaushadis because shipram arogya diet for the aushade bihadi korasaha they can have their instant effect on individual throat so this is another case of hepatitis b Positive. This is a carrier stage wherein the Rasayana substance is again very important. She had this complaint right from childhood. Source was not known. And again, uh, almost for 15 years, she was positive. Later on, if she was given with Tamragarbha Kotali along with Kumariya Savas and Anupanam, you can see the response here. HBSAG has turned negative. She had to underwent uh, a uh, surgery later on for which she had to go for the profile wherein she came to know like she is HPSAG negative now and she was so happy to see like the condition has turned to normal which was not so once upon a time. I don't claim this happens for every patient. Uh, this do happen for this patient. You can see the response in the first half of the slide wherein it was a report of 1998 and now it's today's uh, 2017 report. So with this uh, interval wherein the patient condition was being addressed with the Tamragarbha Kumariyasava. So, Kushtarna, like psoriatic conditions, you have a patient with uh, a present instant effect of the psoriasis. You can ask them to give them with uh, uh, any of the Kushtarna Dravyas, like you would like to choose them, like you want to give Panchatikta, Kaishara Bukulu, Arugya Vardini, Gandhaka Rasayana, any of those things. But Rasayana specific to the Kushta and also specific to the body or the Pravalagarbha, Lohagarbha, Talakeshwara and Sarveshwara Parpati. So these choices of the drugs can be given so that uh, Hemagarbha and Pravalagarbha when a given combination to a patient in post-treatment period of the psoriasis, most of the times he doesn't have a second and third episode. You normally psoriasis, it happens like it comes in episodes. You don't have that episode of the illness eventually. You have a sort of a cutoff from that episode of illness. So this does happen with the Rasayana Chikitsa, not alone with the Vyadi Shaman. When I want Vyadi Shaman, it could be only the Kushtagna set of drugs. But it's not Kushtagna alone here. It is Rasayana as well. So on that grounds, I'm able to treat the patients in this particular way. In episodic illnesses like the autoimmune disorders, like psoriasis, which you're seeing here in the slide. So this is another case wherein Rasayana said to be so important. The age of the child was only four days with a birth injury. The age of the child was only four days, wherein you have this. So this particular patient had a brain and it was being very well treated with the condition with the enema of the hemagarbha and also in the form of an enema as well as for the oral administration of the same thing so by this the condition could have been very well went to much better status and also the medicines were given during the pregnancy as well to the mother because as masa no masa even there we are giving uh, uh, swanavasma to the individual during pregnancy I wish the assigned factor in the child has been very well improved. You can see the eventual reports of the patient later on. The size of the hematoma in the brain was 9 into 7 and 8 into 4. Eventually dissolved. 
eventually dissolved you can see the successive reports in an individual eventually dissolved and uh, uh, totally the child without a cranial or tendon or anything the person has been improved of course the this particular child was on both the system of medicines it was taking the contemporary medicines as well as ayurvedic medicines together but still the great achievement is without craniotomy or without the operation or intervention methods the child was totally fine you can see the uh, hematoma being dissolved and you can see the sizes of the hematoma being uh, totally recoiling you can see the size here by the time it's a uh, 2 cc it's very very small and uh, by the end we complete we concluded uh, the treatment it was only 0.5 cc to 1.8 cc which is very 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 small so uh, the child is alive the child is normal that is healthy that's more important and uh, other such clinical condition is a pituitary macroadenoma wherein the person has a suffering from it's a non cancerous tumor form in the pituitary gland so it forms a sort of a tumor in the pituitary wherein this particular patient was complaining of infertility for which it was been treated and uh, it was been claimed like a macroadenoma which uh, the serum cortisol levels was been significantly low for which we have given them with that of uh, hemagarbha tamragarbha along with varunadikvat as an anupanam and you can see the cortisol levels in the patient eventually turn normal and she conceived and she gave birth to an individual so this is another case which i would like to share with a bicornate uterus pregnancy wherein the person had two uteruses a septum in the uterus by which uh, she conceived in one portion of the uterus and in another portion of the uterus the she had an irregular menstrual cycles every month and it was highly panic for the parents for which we have given hemagarbha with 2 grams per month along with shathavari grutha as an anupanam throughout pregnancy and uh, luckily this particular patient could have a normal thing you can see a normal uterus and the bicornate uterus here and uh, eventually you can see the development of the child and uh, she has become totally normal and she developed delivered with the lscs and of course the things are very much normal and uh, we need to go for an lscs and try to extract the baby out and the child is normal and now the age of the child is also almost uh, 11 or 12 years and this is what rasayana can do during pregnancy so it can have a condition wherein the child will not have any of the illnesses or it can have lots of warding so this benefit we can do and with this with a common platform of the rheumatoid arthritis management in any of those conditions we can try to see here most of the differential diagnosis in muscle pain could be fever muscular rheumatism electrolyte dis imbalance vitamin deficiency thyrotoxicosis peripheral neuritis subacute combined degeneration of the cord then dermatomyositis so rheumatic fevers it could be conditions wherein we give mrutyunjara uh, sarogya vardhini amrutarishta uh, in case rheumatoid arthritis again usually you have the peripheral joints being affected swelling everyone know this factors are a positive and esr is been raised psoriatic arthritis the same presentation with skin lesion then becomes a psoriatic arthritis so vyadhi pratyanika shodhana pachana langan is given mukhya oshadhi guruchi shunti bhalataka swarna hingula gauri pashana rasna shalakan punarnava In case if it is a ama vasta, malagar bo potali, vishagar bo potali, vata vidvam sarasa, brutyun jarasa, vitushno daka, rasna saptaka kwaata, where the drugs of choices. In case if it is pakwa vasta, samira panna ke yoga raja mishrana, bala taka vale ham tamragar bo potali, with rasna di kwaata or the shamula or kshira zena no panam. In case if it is jirna vasta, hemagar bo potali, abragar bo potali, swarna vasanta mishrana, swarna yoga raja, eranda paaka, guda bala taka with kshira, varna di kshayan. and a rasnadi kwatham could be given this could be the choices of the drugs for various stages of amavata so panchakarma upachara virechana niruhavasti swedanam lepanam and snehanam could be done vahir parimarjana upacharas similarly patya patya as per the textbook should be followed in all the autoimmune disorders including the amavata so this is a case wherein you can see the ra factor is negative crp is negative esr is slightly elevated Whereas all the features of Amavata are positive, PDF is uh, been attached here for three times investigations done in the year 2018. So treatments of Shamana and Shodhana Chikitsa have been done. So periodical Shodhana to be carried out and added to that we need to give them with the episodic uh, increase of the Jayamangala Rasa or the Hemagarbha Potali 
to increase the ojas factor and also the rasayana factor in an individual along with the rheumatoid arthritis management with mrutyunjaya rasa arokya vardhini and amrutarishta as a treatment protocol then we can see the altered crp levels in an individual here the crp is 95.4 which is considered as one of very high concentrations with this simple combination combination you can see the regression in the crp levels in the patient you can see how uh, it, it becomes shorter and shorter like here you have 12.5 again it has come to uh, 16 uh, sorry hp crp is 9 here and also later it has come to 4 so it's very very normal so these benefits you can have by giving the rasaushadis or the rasayana chikitsas. Similarly, the ejection factor in this particular individual of the cardiac, where he had a cardiac complaint with a 2D echo, the ejection factor was 30, which has been increased with the 58 within one and a half, two months of time. This was very much possible just because of the reason we have administered him with uh, the drugs like abragarbocotely, which is used in the disorders of the respiratory system and also for the cardiovascular system along with hemadarbha and you can see the ejection factor before treatment and after treatment similarly the other combination which could protect the heart and also for the arm conditions could be mrutyanjarasa prabhakaravati nagarjunabraras rudhyaranavaras kankayanavati hemagarbhapotali pishtis so they can be selected because the rudhya is being affected so this is a case of again osteoarthritis like presentations wherein it affects the weight bearing joints abragarbo portali chandra prabha punarnavadi mandura or gokshuradi gugulu abhyanga with kottam chukkadi telam and bandhana with a calcite crystal could be the treatment modalities for such conditions erythrocytopenia case wherein you can see the platelet levels how it falls off by administration of the pravadagarbha along with arogya vardhini eventually Juvenile erythrocytopenia, the similar presentation even in this particular case, Pravada Garba was being the drug of choice. Cerebral ischemia conditions of these kinds, wherein uh, you can increase the uh, blood circulation in an individual with Abragarpa portali with Kaishor or Amrut Anupanam, and you can see the response in the brain MRI. These are the other reports. People are worried about creatinine and blood chemistry because. They have a false notion like a social these kill their kidneys, but definitely no. They are going to protect the persons and they are going to rejuvenate the body. So hypoxic seizures in this particular patient, MRI of the brain before treatment and after treatment. It is extensively used in most of the malignancies, either of these conditions. You can see the malignancy cases. Another new program can be done only on malignancy. So many cases have been clustered to see the efficacy of these drugs in malignancies. They're exclusively used in most of the malignant condition because autoimmune disorder is a important or a key factor to control the malignancies in most of the clinical pathologies of these kinds. Multiple organ damage, many times the multiple organs are being affected in an individual. So as you see in these conditions, so you need that Sarvaroga, Haradravya, like Hemagraba and other drugs. Old age and Rasayana, Jaraviyadis, Kokshur, Amalaki, Guruchi, Makar Doja is a set of drugs which I usually plan up for most of the conditions. So, Sir Rasaha Karamate Dehe Siddhahe Sambhavanti, Rasayani Thuya Prokta, Mulika Dehe Siddhidaha. When you combine a mineral, a metal and a alkaloid or a herbal component, then it is said to do the Dehe Siddhi. This is what the Rasayana Chikitsa speak about. You need to maintain your body in a Siddhi state. So that Siddhi state is very much possible by administration of the Rasaushadis of these kinds. So with this, I conclude my session saying thank you and congratulate the department and also the college. I acknowledge for giving me this opportunity and sharing few of my thoughts with the Institute. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Definitely with this lecture, you have raised our confidence to use Rasaushadi. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing your clinical experiences with all of us. Now we will go ahead for some questions, sir. How can we decide dose of portali practically? Uh, it is as per the textbook, you can go with 65 or half rati to 125 milligram to one rati. Only thing is you need to take the tablet of portali, whichever you have prepared. Try to rub it over the stone, just like uh, you rub the sand load. Uh, you need to uh, take a streak plate and rub it with a suitable anupanam. 
take out the content which is attached on the plate and ask the patient to lick it. So this is how it is being carried out. Okay. Next question, sir. If the person has autoimmune disorders with comorbidity in old age, can we use Rasaushadi and will it alter the dose administration? Uh, definitely it is going to support the person. I say it should be mandately used. Uh, you, you need uh, a quick response in an individual, then you need to use Rasaushadis. When you want a better response in an individual, you need to use a Rasaushadis. Comorbid is not at all a question. The person is suffering from some diabetes, the person is suffering from hypertension, the person is suffering from some other illness. Along with that, he has been suffering from uh, a particular illness for which he has come to you. You are supposed to use the Rasaushadis to get the situation to control. Absolutely safe. Yeah. Thank you, sir. How many days do we need to give Brutunjaras in SLE? It depends on the person's level, how, how well he can uh, establish it, how well his body accepts it. Sometimes I have given it only for three to six months and I've withdrawn. This is for majority of the patients. But uh, there are few patients like rheumatic heart disease, wherein the person is taking Brutunjaras and Arogyavardini from me from past 12 years. And he's alive. Uh, because people are worried very much uh, because by taking Rasaushadi, if something goes wrong, nothing has happened like that. It depends on the individual acceptance and how he responds clinically. Can we give Hemagarbha Pottali in Garbini? Yeah, I'm giving. I'm giving two grams per month, provided you prepare it in a proper way. In case if it's not prepared well, don't claim on the medicine. If it is prepared well, yes, definitely it can be given. I give it for the whole of nine months. Okay, thank you, sir. What can be given to type 1 DM in young patient to lesser the dose of insulin? Okay. Initially, you can go with uh, the combinations of Shilajatu, Tamra, Surnamakshika, Abraka. Many times the situation is very well controlled, like might be the drugs like Chandra Prabha, Arogya Vardhini, Asana, Dikwata as a supportive management. And you can have a trial period of three months, might be every month you can go for fasting and post prandial. So once the drug level concentration increases in an individual, then the necessity of the insulin is being reduced. Don't withdraw the insulin overnight. You need to uh, moderately reduce it, assessing, reassessing yourself with the blood levels, blood, uh, the glycemic index, and try to reduce it eventually. So that is how it is being usually followed by taking with the diabetes mellitus. Is it okay to take Krasaushadi before food? Yeah, absolutely. It depends on the Agni of an individual. You want to see that you want to generate Agni and you want to give some drugs like Tamra or anything like this, definitely you can give it before food also. It depends on the doshas, like how you want to use. Yunjade dhanna mannada madhyante kavalantare grase grase moschannam nishish aushadam. So based on this aushadha sevana kala, you can definitely go for whenever you want to administer it. Please guide Rasaushadi in Shvitra. Shashirekhavati, Tamra Parada Gandaka with the 21 Bhavanas of uh, Bakuchi Kwata. It should be given. Along with that, uh, we are planning with the Tamra preparations. Also, we are giving Arogyavardini to an individual, which is common prescription in most of the Shvitra cases. Is there anyone have questions? Please ah. ask. Excuse me, sir. I want to ask you one question. Uh, I want to ask you, sir. Uh, the patient, since he had it, since the age of 30 years, he is having asthma. Now he, his age is 80 years and his uh, weight is 42 kg. Recently, he is suffering from numbness. Uh, or chimchimine in the intestine. They say that it is having uh, something like chimchimine in the intestine and then it starts from there and it continues to the extremities. Uh, and due to he is not able to sleep during night. So what type of recipe uh, for uh, along with recipe uh, can be advised and what should be the dose for the old age patient?
हेलो सर हेलो हेलो सर हेलो हाँ सर आई डिड यू गेट माय क्वेश्चन Oh, it was highly disturbing. There are so many mics on, so it was yeah, disturbing. Yeah. Once again, I will repeat it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A patient of uh, chronic asthma since age of 30 years. Now his age is 80 years, and his weight since uh, 30 years, his weight is 42 kg only. Recently, he is having numbness or chimchimine like uh, condition in the intestines. He says that it starts from the intestine, and then it appears means. Uh, he feels in the extremities also uh, then uh, due to which he is not able to sleep during night so my question is what type of rasakalpa can be advised uh, in this condition so that he can be able to sleep and what should be the dose uh, yeah normally for such patients uh, one thing you can do initially you can plan up a treatment protocol for 1 to 3 months what you need to give okay. is you need to give one induvati you have a prescription hmm? called as induvati induvati there is a prescription called as induvati induvati you have two prescriptions one is used in shalakya department in shalakya disorders one more induvati which is used in vata vyadi where the chief component is samirapanaga you don't have indu or you don't have induvati available in your place you can try to procure the samirapanaga so try to take samirapanaga give him 65 mg per day and uh, uh, along with that you need to give him with vishamushtivati and punarnavadi mandura this should be continued for 3 months and try to have a cross assessment by third month you have much of these factors will be well controlled excuse me sir uh, samir panna can vishatindu samir panna ga vishatindu ka along with punarnavadi mandura okay yeah dashamula kwata is anupana what Uh, sir, what should be the dose of Vishatin to Kwati? Vishatin to Kwati is 125 milligram twice daily. Punar Navadi okay. Mandura 250 milligram twice daily, and uh, Samira Panaga is 65 milligram once daily. Or you can give it in two divided doses. Okay, thank you, sir. And the other one should be Dashamula. Dashamula Kwata. Okay. Don't give. I don't much believe on asavaristas because they add preservatives okay. and all. So quata is a better okay. choice. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Sir, there are many questions in our chat box. Shall we continue? Uh, yeah. No, no, no problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that is there any resoushadi for uterine fibroid? is the hmm. yeah see normally it happens like uh, whenever you have uterine fibroid we strongly believe like it is because of the hormonal imbalance so you need to rectify this hormonal imbalance how do you rectify it i will say initial two weeks of the periods the menstrual cycle the first two weeks of the menstrual cycle try to see you give a rasayana dravya and try to see that the hormones are being generated in a normal way Then in the second two weeks, what you need to do, you give a lekhana dravya and try to see that whatever normal is being formed should be shut off. So on these grounds, what you need to do, the first two weeks of the periods, you need to give them with the chandra prabha, arugya vardini, and abragarbha kotli, along with ashoka rishta as an anupanam. In second two weeks of the period, you need to give them with the kanchana rupukulu, punarnavadi mandora, along with that of tamragarbha with one gram per week. dosage along with kumari asavaz and anupanam repeat this for three cycles and go for a reassessment of the fibroid in case if the fibroid is not shrinking then mandatory you have to add hemagarbha uh, in a loading dose possibly 6 to 8 grams per month that you need to decide after 3 months how can we know that whether the rasaushadi is prepared properly is there any practical tips okay uh, one thing is uh, people are not worried about uh, how rasaushadi is been prepared people are worried specifically whether it is safe for my patient i will say both are equal weightage you have a solution called as a potassium molybdate it is very very economical and easily available in most of the uh, chemical stores so you can get small amount of that to look like it is just like water 
you take any of the basma any of the pisti or any of the tablets which you are procuring in your clinic take a very small portion of it and put it in a petri dish and a very small portion might be a pinhead that quantity might be it's around 5 or 10 milligrams then to that you add this potassium molybdate solution in case if you have any change in the colors of the solution then the product is not totally converted in case it, it happens within one to three minutes and in case there is no changes in color it is still stays watery inconsistency and color then it is safe at least it's not because it's not in ionic form it's not in a metallic form and it can be given to the patient so these are a few of the things what you can have at your clinical setup and try to administer it to your patient and re-establish yourself with the ascertainments yeah SLE with low mm. C3 with severe hair loss, what should mm. be the line of treatment? Once you start abraca and tambara in such patients and initial three months you start with that of hemagarbha or swarna preparations, the patient condition will be totally arrested. And later on, once you establish a for sure like there is no ama state in an individual, then we plan up to change the anupanam from amruta or kaishora or what you call it as guduji into trifala. Then again, you have the re-establishment of the hairs. So it's a period, it's a time period, that's all. Initially, you might not have, but later on by changing the anupanam, you can have the things to be normal later on. Yeah. What will be the best resin given to patients having PCOD with hypothyroidism along with type 1 DM? Well, all the three are same for us. We don't have any alteration. Simple Chandra Prabha, Arogya Vardini and Asana Adikwata. They, they are very well established for all the three conditions. Might be sometimes we have to, in case if the patient is recent onset, this is sufficient. In case if it's not with a recent onset and there is a chronicity of the illness, might be we have to support them with Abraka, Tamra and Swarna. Swarna I keep in the last just because of the reason of the cost. <laughs> Many people might not be able to cost uh, the bear the cost of it. In case if they're able to bear the cost, then that is wonderful. In case if they're unable to bear the cost, then Abraka and Tamra is also sufficient for most of these conditions. Can we use Rasaushadi in epilepsy? Very much is, but you need to know the reasons. What is the reason for epilepsy? Uh, in case if it is uh, various conditions like uh, you have uh, because of mental retardation and all, no, they are not repairable. But if it's a repairable condition, we have lots of patients with uh, with us where they have epileptic uh, episodes. Uh, simple drugs like a Medhyavati, drugs like Medhyagana, the drugs like the Swarna, Swarna is a very good Shreshta Medhya Dravya. Can be given along with uh, Saraswata Vishya as an Anupana. Brahmi Grit is also an essential component. Medhya Vati or Medhya Gana. You have Rasaushadis in Medhya Gana. There is Medhya Gana for the Saushadis, which also can be given in most of them. You have a set of drugs called as a uh, Samnya Prabodhana, where you uh, make your cells to get uh, um, Samnya, uh, Buddhi to recognize itself and try to develop by itself. So all these set of drugs can be utilized. They are from the textbook only. I'm not telling anything from my experiences or anything. All these terms are from the textbook. So you can refer Rasaratna Samuchaya. You find all these things there in the Parashruti. And they can be prescribed to the patient. We do have lots of patients wherein we have withdrawn the anti-epileptic drugs like the Ardenal and all where the patient used to be substituted. And they are at least to find from past to four to six years. <clears throat> Please guide use of Rasaushadi in Shalakya Tantra and Balrog. Uh, it's again a very big chapter. Balrog Pediatric, I have taken uh, a webinar for 15 days in this lockdown. So it's a very big chapter. The same dosage of medicine or the same indications in a lesser concentrations is given for Bala. Say, for example, for adult, we are giving 125 milligram. For the child, we are giving possibly 125 milligram divided by 8. So that could be one portion what we are giving for the neonate or for the pediatric practice. If the body weight of the person is between 12 to 20, then the dosage is high. We are giving slightly more. We are giving one by fourth of a rati to them. In case if it is above 20, then we give half rati. 
If it is 30, 35 plus, then we give the whole of one rati. In case if the classical dosage of the drug is one rati, then this becomes the dosage. So this is what we are planning for all the pediatric practice. Shalak again, it's a very big chapter. Again, we have to go with so many conditions. We don't have a uniformity of only one drug which can be used. We, we need uh, again a separate session for that to have lots of discussions on the Shalak issues. Patient is on tablet gabapentin G tabs per day, having pain at mandible and symptoms like trigeminal neuritis. What will be the advice? Yeah, the same thing. Induvati, Vishatindu Kavati, Punarnavadi Mandura, Dashamula Kwata is more than sufficient. In case if the person is not responding with this prescription in another 15 or 20 days, then you need to switch on with the Tapya, Diloha, Makaratoja, Kodanti uh, mixture and uh, give this particular combination to the individual by which he will have a good response. Can we use Rasaushadi as a preventive measure in the formation of cataract? We have many Netrandyahara set of drugs in Rasaushadi. Specifically, it depends on what is the prakriti of an individual. Uh, most of the times I do suggest a lot with Abrak and Tamra for such because many times the people have like my parents or having cataract at this particular age. Uh, so shall their son or daughter also might develop at that particular age. So approximately one or two years prior we start them with very small concentrations of Tamra and Abraka. So by giving Tamra and Abraka most of these issues are being cleared. Added to that, we ask them to go for regular Akshitarpana, ask them to regular have Trifala wash, everything. All other cares can be carried out and added to that, the person can be much better with these prescriptions. There is one case, sir. 68-year female, chronic intermittent fever with chills, HB is 8, contact stress in duration 12 mm, cardiac shadow enlarged. Please treatment no uh, chronic fever in the sense since how many days that's more important because if it's a recent onset then my first diagnosis could be covid uh, question is in uh, chat box sir i will uh, okay. we will give you uh, your yeah, uh, contact yeah, yeah. see uh, yeah that can be Okay, thank you, sir. We have covered all the questions. Okay. Now, thank you. Now, now I request Dr. Kurkute, sir, Professor and HOD, Department of Research Shastra and Bhishat Jakalpana, to give vote of confidence. Yes, sir, Dr. Kurkute, we are head of Department of Research Shastra and Bhishat Jakalpana of our college. First, I would like to thank Honorable Executive Director. Dr. Uraj Naroda, sir, and Honorable Principal Dr. Bittisinde, sir, who gave this opportunity to our department for webinar. Also, thanks of Dr. M. Gopi Krishna for sparing his valuable time and sharing his knowledge with all of us that important roles of Rahoshati. Also, I would thank all the participants who attended this webinar. And last but not least, thanks to organizers and technical team for arranging this webinar. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. The feedback 